This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday evening. I'm James Spann. Little rain tonight, but the big rain event this week will be late Thursday night with a cold front, maybe producing strong to severe storms. We'll check some of the sky cam shots as we look out the window this afternoon. We'll start with the Inverness sky cam in Shelby County. The sky there is cloudy. Temperatures mostly in the 60s. Up north, the mighty Tennessee River is seen from our sky cam at Decatur, an overcast sky there. And a little drizzle beginning to break out over northwest Alabama. That's a sky cam at Hamilton High School up in Marion County. Got a strong shortwave north of here producing winter storm conditions around the Great Lakes, and that's going to drag a cold front through here tonight. Temperatures are in the 60s around here. The uh, warm spot in our part of the state, Tuscaloosa. Alabaster, Alexander City, all three cities at 68, Birmingham at 63. And around the nation, it's still cold around the Great Lakes in the Northeast, but not as cold as recent weeks. You can see a nice tongue of warmer air coming up across the Central Plain states. We've got winter storm warnings in effect around Milwaukee, Chicago, winter weather advisories over to uh, New York City, Atlantic City, and Philadelphia. But all of that this week stays north of here. Here's the rain for the next five days. This carries us through Saturday evening, and this is suggesting rain amounts of about one to two inches. And, of course, this is the map everybody's kind of focusing on now. This is the convective outlook for days four and five. Day four is Thursday. Day five is Friday. And there's a risk for about the northern two-thirds of Alabama. And the main risk will come Thursday night, and we'll take a look at that risk in great detail as we go. We'll take a look at modeling. This is the GFS, the Global Forecast System, the 12Z run, valid at noon tomorrow. This is at 500 millibars. Strong energy over north, the uh, northeast United States. And down below that, uh, we've got a front that's down over South Alabama with little support. Now, here's tonight, by the way. This is uh, 7 o'clock tonight. And you can see that little band of showers in advance of the front along a, a line from near Fort Payne down to Birmingham, Brent, and Demopolis. Rain amounts ought to be under a quarter inch. And again, tomorrow, the front will just kind of stall out somewhere near the Gulf Coast. And we think the day tomorrow here will be dry with a high in the mid to upper 60s with a good supply of sunshine. Should be a really nice day. Now, this is Wednesday. The front begins to move north as a warm front, and I guess there might be a shower somewhere Wednesday, but the rain will not be widespread. Clouds around the high in the upper 60s, maybe touching 70 somewhere. And here's Thursday, very uh, dynamic trough coming down across the Plain State, spinning up a 989 millibar low west of Chicago with a trailing front down to Little Rock and Houston. And it should be a very mild day for us. Uh, the GFS printing a high of 74. That's within four degrees of a record, if that's right. The day will be mostly dry, but here comes the batch of storms Thursday night. The primary surface low is over the northern tip of Michigan. And typically in a situation like that, the, the main risk will be from strong straight line winds. This is the instability Thursday evening at 6 o'clock. And there's a tongue of uh, instability values, Cape values up to about 750 joules, which is adequate for severe weather in the cold season. Wind feels very strong. This is the low-level jet at about 5,000 feet off the ground. This is suggesting winds in the uh, 40, 50 knot range over north Alabama, higher values north of here. And there's a pretty decent amount of low-level bulk shear. So if we happen to have any breaks or kinks in that line, there could be an isolated tornado or two. But clearly, the main threat will be from strong, maybe damaging straight-line winds Thursday night. Uh, we'll be able to adjust the timing as we get closer. We note the morning runs a little faster, suggesting maybe 6 o'clock uh, Thursday evening until 3 a.m. Friday. Then during the day Friday, it's all gone. This is noon Friday, everything well to the east of here. Friday will be a little cooler, the high close to 60. The sky becoming partly sunny. And this is Saturday as we start the weekend. The uh, front is stalled out near the Gulf Coast. For us, if this is right, the day would be uh, partly sunny with a high in the low 60s. The GFS printing a high of 63. And this run looking relatively dry on Sunday. Uh, you know, we showed you the OZ run this morning that brought this big massive rain up in here. Well, this run says nope. Uh, this is suggesting just kind of a cool and dry day with a high again in the low 60s based on thickness values like this. But obviously confidence in the weekend forecast is not very high with the inconsistencies in the model output. Here's a week from today. Got a zonal flow 
Colder air north of us, 1048 high, nosing down into Montana and North Dakota. We'll kind of keep an eye on that, but Monday would be probably a day with a high around 60 and lows in the low to mid-30s if this is right. Then a couple of days later, this is Wednesday of next week, a little wave comes by to the south and pulls down even colder air, and uh, we'll see how that thing plays out. And on the 27th, pretty good shot of colder air for the eastern United States. But uh, these cold shots will not be as long-lasting or as severe as the ones we have endured over the uh, past eight weeks. Here's the end of the forecast, March 5th. Uh, big trough in the southwest, troughing in the Gulf. That's kind of energetic and kind of stormy for us. Uh, big low sitting uh, around uh, Dalhart, Texas, with the Gulf wide open, mild, unstable air. So and that's what March is supposed to look like. You know, that kicks off our tornado season here. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.